Hello, everybody. My name is Danny S. Hodges. I'm going to show you five things that you need to do to your home generator. This is my second generator, and I learned from the first one. You see that fuel filter right there in the red circle? I put that fuel filter on this generator. The gas tanks on these generators and a lot of small engines, they got a metal tank, and they'll rust. That rust will stop your carburetor up, and I, I mean, it'll mess it up. The other generator I got, it that's what happened to it. I took the carburetor off and cleaned it out. So some of the ports inside the carburetor were stopped up. But if you put that fuel filter on there, it, you won't, that won't never happen. And the next thing you see there, I put a, a fuel line cutoff valve. So when you're not using it, you can run the gas out of the carburetor. You know how the gas is nowadays. That ga gas don't need to sit in that carburetor bowl. That gas will gel up in time, and it'll it'll make that generator where it won't crank. But if you run the gas out of it, you'll be okay there. It's real simple what I done. I, j I went and bought some more fuel line, and I just undone it from the bottom of the gas tank. And uh, I put the... The uh, the cutoff valve on there, and the filter, and just put uh, one end back to the tank, and the other end, it uh, slipped up on the cutoff valve. You want to make sure you put your fuel filter first before it goes into the cutoff valve, because it can stop that up too. And also, it I forgot to mention this. Also, uh, the water that's in the gas these days, it'll make your, your, your carburetor rust up, and it'll stop the ports up. So the next thing is, you want to make sure you put a good fuel stabilizer in there. So the next thing is, see this dipstick tube? It's got a magnet on the bottom of it. And I think it's a super magnet. It's, it's real strong. The rods in your generator and the crankshaft and the rings are steel. And I've got another video like this where I broke a generator in. And I, after I ran it for a little while, I poured, I poured the oil out in a glass jar. And it had silver flakes all in it from the break-in what the oil looked like after running 40 minutes. I'm going to try to see if I can show you this. Can you see all the silver flakes in that? I'll turn it a little bit. It's loaded. <laughs> it's loaded. Looks like little, you know, them little flakes, them little silver flakes, whatever it is. Hey, I didn't know it was that bad. I drained the oil out. That's you're supposed to break a generator in, and <laughs> so there's a special kind of oil that you use for a break in. Uh, but I can't remember what it is. But I have a video on it. It's not on this channel. It's on Southern Ideas. When you drain the oil out of your generator, and you, you drain it in something that's glass, and you can see that you uh, you'll almost have a fit that all that metal was floating around in your oil. Hey, y'all, and there's people buy a lawnmower, three, four, five thousand dollars a riding lawnmower. And, hey, just go to cutting grass. They don't even break it in. But, I mean, that, that break-in is important. I, I can tell you. And it's it's not just a motor that you break in. Uh, the part that makes electricity, you're supposed to break that in, too. I got a video of that on Southern Ideas. It's how to break a generator in. But uh, you'll know it's the right one if you see Southern Ideas. But like a blow dryer is good to break a generator in, like the electrical part of it. Because, you know, I mean, you know, they'll go from low to 
like 1500 watts and you, you know you're just moving it from low to high and letting it run I don't um, you, you know I know you're supposed to do that hello everybody this is how to break your generator in first thing you do is you take some Lucas heavy duty and pull you about two ounces out in a bottle and then I took my Quaker State 10W30 don't break this in with synthetic motor oil and then pull your oil in with your Lucas pour that in the crankcase and go ahead and get that in the crankcase first first thing okay you got your oil in your crankcase the next thing you want to do is take your spark plug out and I looked around here and that's all on Southern Ideas, y'all. I have several channels. Uh, but, like, you know, like, when it comes to changing your oil, there's no such a thing as you changing it too much. Uh, you, you remember what your daddy used to say about changing oil? <laughs> so, laying all jokes aside, I would, I would definitely use, like, a synthetic oil for your generator for in hey for everything you got okay and this right here is a real low voltage trickle charger it, it says trickle and it also says stabilizer but uh, what you do is you take that battery as far as it'll go and then if it goes out, go to town and get a battery like what goes in your car. And, you know, it should last, you know, four years. And, I mean, it can last longer than that. Now, my generator is not going to be moved. So if, if I've got my generator hooked up to the house. I'm going to be making another video on this channel. My, I have a cord that runs from outside where I am, and it runs to the panel box inside my house. Yeah, so I'm coming back and feeling some stuff in. I have a line buried that goes up to the panel box inside my house. And I have it hooked to my whole entire house and I will be making another video on this channel right here of about uh, you know running the line to the house and hooking it up to the panel box and I'm talking about doing it right I'm not no beginner at this y'all on my panel box I have a interlock and what that means is, is you can either have the power coming in from the outside or the power coming in from the generator. It's fixed to where that interlock is fixed to where you can't have both on at the same time. Uh, what that actually means is, if the power's off and you had your generator running and you don't have the main power cut off your electricity can run your generator electricity can run back out the power lines and could shock somebody so I'm on southern ideas I keep talking about southern ideas but I I made an interlock because they they pretty expensive but I figured out how to make one and all it all it does is it slides up and down and you can either cut the generator on or the main power coming from the uh, pole you can't have both at the same time it's a safety thing and I'll show you how to make an interlock or you can buy one for your uh, for your breaker box they, they pretty high but uh I made mine.
Now, I know you probably didn't catch it on the video, but I have a light above that breaker box. And that light is hooked to the line that comes in from the generator. So that light will only come on when you crank that generator. It, the, yeah, <laughs> you understand me? Uh, the light is on the line. It don't come out of the breaker box. So when you crank that generator up, that light comes on. It's so you can see when if you're in the dark. So I was listening to what I was saying there. Uh, if you have your generator on and you don't have your main power cut off, that generator electricity will go out through the power lines. It ain't it could. It will do it. And I got videos on Southern Ideas just explaining that breaker box. I, I, y'all, I've, I've studied up on this right here. And you got to know what you're doing when you go to mess with that breaker box. Uh, there's a lot. There's If you're not an electrician, there's stuff that, that you don't realize about that breaker box. I guarantee you. There's stuff. There's an A side and a B side. And you got to know what you're doing. And, but anyway, all that I got wrote on that uh, panel box, I got it fixed where my wife knows how to do it. She knows how to crank the generator. Uh, that thing was nice when we had the air king. It's a bigger generator than what we need, but I ain't the one bought it. Somebody bought me one, and it's a bigger generator than what I need. But, uh, but, uh, Hey, I guarantee you, I didn't care at the time whenever it got to this house. Oh, the next time I get on here, I'm going to do another video on this channel about the generator. I'm going to show you an easy way to hook your generator up to your house. It might even surprise you how easy it is you don't have to have no interlock they just some stuff you've got to do that there's some stuff you've got to know but uh anyway y'all i appreciate y'all watching the video you can check out southern ideas there's probably a pretty good chance if you look up generator you'll probably run across Southern ideas. Because them videos I got, they, they pretty popular. From the day I put them up, they pretty popular. They, you know, they stay to get views. Thank y'all for watching. Hey, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I appreciate y'all. Bye, 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 bye.